Emmanuel was born in Ghana in the year 1991 uh, in Accra. So I was so happy to see him because he, he was my firstborn, uh, the boy that I, I had in Ghana. A lot of people used to tell me, oh, he's a hardworking guy, he always, he always wants to help people. It, that's his nature, that's, he, that's the way he is. He always wants to help people out. Uh, when he was 20 years old, he, uh, he immigrated from Ghana to the United States. Emmanuel was always, always wanted to be in America and, and be part of the American army. He, he couldn't wait to, to, to join the army. That was his aim and that was his passion. He was in the army for a year. That was his first time of coming home and this tragedy strike. We people were screaming and that's how we knew it was trouble because people were screaming, by your help, by your help, we knew it was trouble. I know, I just wake up to a bunch of smoke and that's it, man. The whole building was on fire, that's it. All I see is a bunch of kids in the fire escape, so obviously they're waiting for the firemen to save them, but in order for them to do that, they have to put the fire out. Emmanuel Mensah was a National Guardsman. He had just returned home for the first time since joining the Army a year ago. Witnesses say when the fire broke out, he went into rescue mode. He saved four people, helping them safely out of the building. And then he went back in to try to rescue more. But this time, he didn't make it out. With true New York guts, he ran into the fire, not once, not twice, but three times to save his neighbors. The military, the mayor, the governor, the, the congressman, they all did their, their, their part to let me know that it seemed and they, in any support that they have to, they will help me in, in getting buried. Family gathered today at Fordham University where they were presented with the Soldier's Medal, the Army's top award for valor outside of combat and the New York State Medal for Valor, the state's highest military award. Sometimes I sit back here and, and I, I ask myself, why all this? He was so proud to be part of the uh, uh, American Army and being an American. And that's what I want to share with people, that he didn't die in vain. He achieved what, what he wanted to achieve before all this tragedy. And I'm, I'm proud of him, and I know wherever he is, he's proud to be an American but I always miss him.